Welcome back to Anderton's TV. And today, Pete and I are going to attempt to somehow shoot out the oh. five most popular kind of pro-end guitar mm. multi-effects pedal boards that are available. Well, this is, is this, po is this the most popular one now? Or is it just like come in from the side going, hey, I'm here too. Who knows? Who knows? Because this has been uh, launched very, very recently. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be popular. Can, before we do, can you just, can we just say that we do not stock uh, Axe Effects? Just yeah. because somebody will probably go, where's the Axe Effects? It's like, why don't you ever see retailers including Fractal Audio yeah, products Fractal, in yeah. their shootouts? It's yeah. because Fractal just sell direct. Yeah. So, so we that's can't, why. That's uh, um, before you go ahead. Okay, so we're going to uh, shoot out uh, the Fender Tone Master Pro. We're going to mm. shoot out uh, against the uh, Neural Quad Cortex, the Headrush Prime, the Line 6 Helix, and the Kemper um, Stage yeah. Profiler. There is endless spec and functionality on all of these yeah. units, and the idea of this video is not to deep dive into those. We've probably done videos of these products in the past where maybe there is a bit more of a deep dive and I'm sure lots of other people have. Absolutely. We are going to focus on six or seven amp modeled sounds, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How, they, how they come across in here with simple, perhaps a little bit of reverb afterwards, tube screamer in front, that kind yeah. of thing. All right, so we're just really comparing classic amp sounds you're going to hear a mix of uh, what does a modeling floorboard sound like. So that's mm -hmm. where uh, 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 a, it is a digitally recreated sort of component by component guitar amplifier yeah. uh, sound versus profiling or again, all the different brands call it profiling capture and all that kind of stuff, which is yeah. an actual amplifier with a microphone in front of mm -hmm. it or a selection of microphones in front of it that has been captured at and a certain point in time in yes with, the... with certain settings and all yeah. that kind of stuff so look without further ado let's start so the fender tone master pro spec will be on screen now <laughs> family of products from Fender utilizing some of the Tone Master technology that they developed for the guitar amp range. Uh, right now, the only product in the multi-effects range is the, is the big top of the range Tone Master Pro. Who knows over time whether this will get sort of diluted down into smaller and more mm -hmm. affordable models. Um, we're going Super to, cool. our seven amps that we're going to compare each time is a Deluxe Reverb, a Bassman, a Marshall Plexi, a Marshall Jesse M800, AC30, 5150, and a Boogie Dual Rectifier. Part of that selection process is because the Tone Master Pro is quite new mm -hmm. and is just a modeling device, so can't do capturing, we're, we're limited to what amplifiers Fender have um, are in the, the, the sort of the, yep. the initial version mm -hmm. of this product. So the only amplifier that we kind of like I couldn't find in here, and perhaps it'll come out in later iterations. It's, there's no JTM 45 in here, so that's why we're not bothering to compare. Anyway, I'm sure as time goes by, Fender will relentlessly update this. I'm sure so, Mr. Will. Pete. Yes, Mr. Lee. Um, housekeeping. Come housekeeping. On. You, kept, you keep, you forget. If See, you enjoy you this video, if you get to the end <laughs> of this video and you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, it always yes. helps. If you want to fast forward at any time, there will be bucket loads of timestamps, mm -hmm. I imagine this. I think what we're going to do, if you go right to the end, there's just going to be like a no talking back to back each different amp yes. sound against each other. Um, might be useful. Uh, and if you uh, don't want to buy any of these, but you still like this channel and would like to support it, maybe you want a t-shirt. We sell lots of merch on our website. Mm -hmm. Pink right. stuff as well. Yeah. Let's I'll have a little I'll listen now. So. I'm not going to go into too much spec here. What is really nice, uh, in fact, you'll see this as we go further and further back in time, you'll, I, I think you'll find that perhaps some of the products become slightly less intuitive um, to use. Yeah. What's lovely on the Fender is it's full touch screen. Very, very easy to, to do. And I'll show you actually, when we change the amplifiers, you'll just get a brief idea of how we do that. It's the same if you want to change any of the effects and stuff. But anyway, let's That's hear cool. our uh, Fender Deluxe with a little mm. bit of reverb. Mm -hmm. 
Sounds great, man. You That's know what it reminds me of? An old uh, TC Electronic uh, G system. It looks a bit like Oh, that. the way, the way yeah. it looks, yeah. Uh, with a little great, bit of man. tube screamer. Yeah, feels good, sounds good. <laughs> as well i mean there's no lag there's the, all of that stuff is i mean that it's all good oh, that's now, cool so. so whilst we're on a, <clears throat> a fender deluxe setting of course one of the big um marketing sort of claims that fender will make about tone master pro mm -hmm. is is of course the only uh multi-effects unit that can have official fender and evh yes, profiles in that is true. It's certainly not the only one that has fender and evh no. style no. Uh, profiles in it they all have that but the these will be the official ones. So look, what I want to do now is um, replace the amplifier. Uh, you can see on here our Super selection simple. of amplifiers. And we did say our next one would be a basement. So yeah. I, I hit basement, I hit confirm. Uh, it shows me where the settings are. I'm not too worried about necessarily changing those. That's fine. And I come back out of here and we now have uh, the basement, good, with the, which is going to use the same reverb all yeah. the way through. OK, next big up. <laughs> So obviously, yeah, but that's the, the settings best one, on here. It? Yeah, it's a, it's, that's what it is. it's, it's a, yeah, it's that classic sort of almost Joe Bonamassery sort of yeah. vintage tweet. Is that JTM forty five country it's, kind of thing? It will be, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you'd put oh, in front of fact. a basement. I mean, it's obviously pedals Tube didn't creamer. exist when the basement <laughs> came. You probably know this by now, but when we're doing these kinds of demos, we're just plugged straight into our interface. So everything you're hearing is just this unit into a computer interface. I do okay. like, a, like a basement. Uh, let's change this. We said our next amp now would be a Marshall Plexi. Ooh. British Plexi. I do love pictures. Boom. It's like pictures of food when you go to a restaurant, you know. You... <laughs> 100%. Uh, Oh, Ooh. that sounds big and juicy. Already? Yeah. Thank you. 
notice as well that that one of the cool things is uh, on the the fender and the quad cortex when we get to it is the actual uh, switches are also knobs which is kind of cool right yeah. otherwise you've got to you know on a lot of the other ones you're either going into a different menu or you're dragging your finger up and down anyway very very cool uh, let's have a look what does that sound like with the tube screamer it's got that honkiness that I Did really you do? Like Did you boost it already? That was with the tube screamer. How about uh, a boost? We can have both. <laughs> Thing, a thing we forget about these units. Do they roll off nicely? Yeah. That's actually a good point to sort of perhaps interject with uh, the sort of the modeling versus yes. capture debate. I was just about to I'm, say. I'm not necessarily convinced that there is a better or worse, um, but in terms of like what does it actually mean? So a modeling amplifier is going to take something like a Marshall Plexi, they're going to yeah. look at all the ways you can adjust the Marshall Plexi. Yeah, you've got all the controls on the front, you've got um, different bias on tubes, all that kind of stuff to get a different sound. And then yeah. what they'll do is in the algorithm that they write to make that sound, they will attempt to program how yeah, everything is. changes. And you know, when you change the mid range, does that also change the bass end and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So it's very, very detailed. Um, computer programming to emulate a sound. Yes. And that's how the Tone Master works, and that's how the Line 6 Helix works. And the, and, the, and the Prime and as the well, And the Prime and the Quad Cortex, you've got the choice of either yeah. modeling or yeah. um, capture, yeah. or profiling. Profiling is different in that profiling is a real amp in a real room with a you know real yeah. microphones and any effect that maybe the channel strip on the desk might have. And, and the speakers you, yeah, and the cabinet. And the which way the wind is blowing that yeah, day. Exactly. And you set it up and you get your killer sound and then you press a button, and you go capture that. Yeah. And it does, and it gives you a great sound. Um, you the, can just change it to a certain degree, but not, not yeah, the same so the, way. The argument there, ill argument, I suppose the 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 the, the argument that will come from the modeling team then as to where does that sort of capture thing yeah. fall down is if you want to adjust anything so you're saying I, I want to adjust the EQ or perhaps the gain or whatever yeah. you're not actually adjusting that amplifier you're overlaying overlaying like EQ, some sort like of EQ top end or yeah. low end or, yeah so it may not react quite as authentically as the real amp would react Authentic. careful of that word but Honestly, I kind of I've used both, yeah. and I've never really felt when you're trying to EQ a profiled amplifier that it feels like it's wrong somehow. It still feels like you're yeah, adjusting. Yeah, it's not. But, anyway. it, the, but so what? More the affordable units would all be modeling, won't they? So if you take well, like Tonex is is affordable and yeah. it's profiling, but yeah, yeah. Mo, any, well, you have to buy other things to get it to do what it is. Yeah, but, but yeah, I mean, you're right. Most like uh, more stuff. All those if, if you were units. down really low yeah, yeah. end, you'd be just modeling. Yeah, yeah. this sounds so good. It man. does sound good. I mean, the right. reverbs in this is what impressed me when we went to do the video that you can see up in the corner here. That they they've done convolution spring reverb and all that stuff that they put into yeah, the. Yeah, um, in fact, that's interesting, that's like, isn't it? Because oh the God. the speaker emulations in this are real yeah. IRs, even though the amp is modeling. Yeah. So what is it? Six thousand or something? It's, I don't know. Loads. Madness. Madness. But that's why I didn't Madness. want to deep dive too much. Yeah. The, you you could almost just assume with any of these that it'll be like the biggest, craziest collection of amplifiers and pedals ever on like any of them. Uh, but anyway, let's hear a JCM 800. I just want this guitar.
It's I good. Mean, again, I, I mean, know I, keep, I, know I don't want to go into the deep diving, but interestingly as well, we, we made sure we updated all of these mm -hmm. to their latest yes. versions this morning. And again, it's interesting, the more recent the device is, the more they just go, I've connected to the Wi-Fi. There's an update. Yeah, what yeah, you, you know, yeah. boom. Whereas the older ones are like, yeah. no, go to the website, download the update onto your computer, transfer it. So it's interesting, yeah. again, as, as time moves on. This has got USB-C as well. Whoa! Uh, the fun, other funnily enough, the old. one thing that I do think the old stuff stands up well for, though, is just the sounds of the effects. Yeah. It's, it's more the, op it's well, like just it is. the operating system. There's like the Kempo is the one that is just, it's not the hardware. It's the, how good is the capture or the, pro or the profile of that particular sound, wanna, isn't it? Do we want a top boost or not? We go top boost, right? Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Okay. Here, now, this is, I think this is the hardest Tesla, guitar amplifier to uh, uh, yeah. emulate the, the, the true tone of, a, yeah. of, a, of, a, of a, an AC30. But here we go. Tell you sounds what, it's nicer on the on the on neck pick. On the I neck, think. it's got yeah. a nice. I don't think so. I think. You know what? People don't understand how a Vox sound like in the room. You have to go in the room and you have to just plug it in and. Yeah. Turn it up. I think it's yeah. Well, look, do you yeah. know what though? I mean, it sounds. It's, you, it's, it's got this. Sound this, bad got to me. Sound. It's got that yeah. sort of that slightly different bass. Yeah. End. Do All two right. scream on it? Maybe that's sure? not going to be I good. But let's that, try. It. But, well, let's try it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's a thing. But... It's got that hunky. Box or the tube screen. Yeah, who knows? There might be people. somebody we, famous. I, just, isn't we, there? I don't dare say anything uh, anymore. The comment section has come down like. Let's do now. <laughs> here's the lava. next. Uh, here's the next <laughs> kind of like official thing that obviously Fender are making a big noise about, which is the 5150 stuff. Yeah. Obviously, you've got green, blue, and red channels, so um, they'll get gainier as we go along. Should we just go full red straight yeah, off the let's bat? Yeah, that's it. Okay, mm. full red straight off the bat. <laughs> That's really my dark business. Let's try the blue, maybe the blue. Maybe not the right guitar bit, for bit it, of, but... Maybe not. Bit of choose finger. <laughs> should have put the trem arm yeah. in, shouldn't we? Nah, All right, well, look, trem arm is full. Um, fine, so that's <laughs> pretty... <laughs> that's so pretty that heavy. IEU, isn't it? Oh, I like trem arm. I know you do. Uh, finally, double rec is the dual rec <laughs> setting. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing like a dual rectifier right in your face, is there? I'm 
join us. <laughs> now, again, on the on the Tone Master, we've just elected to use uh, the, the default cabinet for all of those amplifiers yeah, yeah. and the default IR for all of those. I could absolutely change those if I wanted to, but it's not for this demo. I just wanted um, to see what yeah, it felt fire like. Away. Can I do that? We've, in fairness, the Tube Screamer settings on this are more the kind of settings you might have on a vintage yeah, yeah. Fender amplifier rather than a... We've got a little bit... It's probably... I, in fact, I can show you. Look at that. It's, they're the settings, all right? So you know what I mean. If you're if you're a modern gain guy, you'd have the overdrive left and the and the less it. and I the level it. more. But anyway. And it's got a blend knob, which is really cool. Not yep. all of them have got that. Can I just ask you a quick question? Mm. I don't think the... Uh, I seem to... The, the, the noise gate is not on the fender, so I think they've listened when they've gone, don't put the noise no, gate on, you put the noise gate on if you want the noise gate on. Do you know what, it's on. a great shout. The, so the, the, Which I the, love that, because the, let people put the noise gate yeah, on. The, what Pete said. So a noise gate, <laughs> you can switch it on. I think what, what Pete's saying is so often the noise gate is on as a default and yeah. we don't like noise gates, or at least we don't like I think what they do when they choke. Yeah, you just need they... to feel the sound of the amp and how yeah. it let it breathe and that stuff. So millions of other great, Millions and millions of other features. Yeah. But the, all that really matters is what you think of the sound. I, I, do, like I do think as well, the feel, yeah. is it... Any it, any lag, no. any sense no, that you're... No, 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 no. There's none of that stuff with this anymore. I think... That, no, that feels great, it sounds great, there's lots of articulation in there. Is that a word? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's a nice size. I think as you go through these, the right, yeah. some of these, some of these units feel they're, like they're unnecessarily big. Some of these units you go, wow, is that maybe a bit too small? Yeah. You can see the, there is a mission um, expression yes, pedal is, yeah. that they've done in collaboration with Fender that you can use on the side of this if you want to. Ins and outs are amazing. I do like the fact it's slightly angled. Yeah. I do think I like the sort of the colors around the, the, yeah, that's cool the, with the, colors. the buttons and stuff. It does feel, so sound aside, which of course, you know, we'll see how we come along with all those. In terms of just to use, it certainly feels like, I don't think any of the other ones do anything better in terms of how it, works then no. there's probably maybe other ones that do stuff just as well but i have to say hats off to fender i think to, to just use it feels really simple i tell you what this is this is the this is the guy who's sitting in the corner of the dark room looking what's going on in this room and just taking everything in all the time and then going here you go because it's just you know you've got stuff from the helix you've got stuff from the qc you've got i stuff see what from, you mean you know what i mean it's just he's yeah. been sneaking around the corner looking at all these but i love it i think it's really right. good Let's do the next one. Let's do it. Headrush Prime. Uh, Headrush is a, a relatively new brand in the guitar effects yeah. world, but its lineage is enormous. So it comes from the old um, 11 rack digi-design yeah. sort of world, but Headrush is now um, the dedicated sort of guitar effects unit. There is a slightly bigger family for this now. So this is the Prime, which is the biggest unit. Uh, however, if you want something slightly more affordable and slightly more compact, but with exactly the same functionality, mm -hmm. um, the uh, core, the prime core is the one to look at. Yeah. You yeah, go really further got, yeah. down the head rush range into MX-5 and stuff, mm -hmm. it's not the same uh, operating system. No. But it sort of looks similar, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It... They, the one thing again throughout all the head rush stuff is it's all... Um, uh, very, screen. very yeah, intuitive, yeah, easy peasy. pretty pictures of pedals and pretty amplifiers, pictures of all pedals. that kind of stuff. <laughs> Headrush has two claims, really. It's the cheapest one of the uh, five, and it's also the one with the most sort of other features as well. So if you're into looping and jamming and singing and all the other kind of stuff, yeah. then check this out as well. It's pretty cool. So our first, same as we've done before, what I've done is set up um, a plate reverb, a couple of, uh, a boost and a tube screamer pedal, and then we're just gonna go through those same five amplifiers. Mm -hmm. This is actually a, a 1964 Deluxe Reverb because yeah. they don't have the, uh, they don't have a 1965 one uh, in here. As a, as a, and this is Honestly. a <laughs> head rush. What did we, we're, this was a revalver or this was a? This no, is a, it was an This is a one, model, yeah. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a model. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah.
bit of uh, cheap yes, screamo. some cheap screamo. <laughs> That's the thing, you just want to leave that yeah. on and just yeah. keep it on all the time. I remember the first time we did these, there was a slightly bit lag, but I think the update has sort of... Not, not, it's just, it's yeah. tiny, but if you feel it, and, you it's, know. It's interesting you say it, because I think that away. we often talk <clears throat> about this feeling of being slightly disconnected from, from yes. the unit. That's, that's uh, exactly I mean, what it is. probably lag probably is the technical term, but the lag is so small that it's yeah. more of a feeling of not quite being so connected rather than an actual lag. Yeah. But yeah, the, the, the update that came out for this in September 2023, mm -hmm. um, uh, it's definitely has sorted it out. Cured that. Let's There's this low end in it. I feel like they put this low end, lovely cover thing underneath it for you know what you wouldn't necessarily need as if you use it live. But you can take that off. There's a global EQ and all that stuff. So, which is handy. So let's change the amplifier now. Um, it's ever so simple to do. From the you double click on the amp and you choose a different amplifier from this selection. Interestingly, on the head rush, there are three different blocks of amp that you can choose from. Mm -hmm. uh, and you do have to, if you want to skip from a, you know, that well, they're called head rush, revalva, and clone. Yeah. So head rush is the stuff that they've designed here. Revalva is a company that head rush acquired that was a, that is a sort of a, you know, a bit modeling. Like, well, like a, a bit like positive grid bias. Right, 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 they right, sort right, of right, do right, their right. own thing. So they're in here as well. And then you've got the clones that you've either made yourself or you've downloaded from the cloud. And those are three different blocks. So you do need to effectively, you know, open a new block if you want to switch from outside of those. Don't know if I've explained that terribly well, but we're going to stay within the head rush block for all these amp models. So we want a 59 tweed baseman. Again, you can see how the... Um, uh, settings are here so we've got normal bright presence treble bass middle and again I would just adjust those by dragging this uh, bar up and down here uh -huh. um, or what's quite nice I think as well is from the main screen you have these sort of quick access yeah, controls cool. that always relate to these three and whichever if I you know for example if I just tap the tube screamer now that, they're my tube screen settings these are my boost settings etc et so these, so these doesn't nice. do anything no, no. these yeah. are not um, knobs as well as switches. Right, so let's see what this sounds like then. Is it as uh, old school raspy as the other one? That's what I want to know. I mean... It's got that old school sort of the sound. Brass. Yeah, I think I think this is sort of a little bit. Oh, you get this, but we're making it a little bit nicer for you, so you don't think it sounds shit. It's, it's, Do you know what I mean? Because they don't these amps. The, these old. Do you remember when we did the video with the little Fender Champion? It was just it, as soon as we put less pole in it and I, turn everything off. I just think the. I just think on the Fender model, it's going to get harder and harder for us to remember. <laughs> What, yeah, yeah, what each one was. Yeah, yeah. I think the Fender one just sounded like they had it more cranked. Yeah, so I, I mean, just I, think I it can, sounded more authentic. I can crank this more. Well, yeah. You also got a cushion for the fall with that reverb, haven't you? Yeah, 
Yes. Sheep screamer, maybe? Uh -huh. I don't know, or a boost. <laughs> this for uh, now I I am dragging these because it would appear that it only loads the matching uh, cab if there's like a you know if you've got empty blocks in the first place we mm -hmm. do have a J45 now which would be cool is that Jenny uh, plexi 50 plexiglass 100 that's the one isn't it there we go and that's loaded off a 412 you don't listen. listen what is this Plexi. See, I think it's more the flavour of it. It's not. This doesn't. It doesn't give me that. Oh yeah, that sounds so like. So you, you, you were liking the Fender. I like the than Fender me. better mm -hmm. for, for, as for, for now. Jenny from the plot, by the way. I think it sounds we, good, but that's not the. We, it's not, it sounds we mustn't, good. We mustn't forget, of course, one of the options that you would have with uh, Headbrush Prime is to go to the cloud and find someone that's captured yeah, yeah. an actual yeah, yeah. plexi. Uh, and the longer this has been out, I'm sure the more uh, that cloud, you know, those options to download other yeah. stuff will yeah. will grow. Uh, I think that sounds all right, but I, there was. There was something about the Marshall that had a little bit more of that buzz that you get, not background buzz, but like that sort of sizzle that you maybe yeah, get yeah. on a on a Maybe, on a maybe that's also the way that Fender has done the cabinets, uh, uh, you know, how they did the DIRs, yeah. the, all of those different Quite things. Quite possibly. You know? I mean, a bit of cheap screen <laughs> That I'm as a as a tonal hound, I'm not so keen on. I'm not saying it sounds bad. It's definitely just... a it's definitely a modelling, uh, not modelling. What's the right word? It's, it's manufacturers often, I think, compensate for the fact that they know people maybe are using uh, headphones Small or tiny speakers, speakers yeah. or whatever, and they yeah. overload the bass end. So when you put yeah. it through some bigger speakers, but that's I mean again, that's one of the nice things on these units is you can either go through patch by patch, mm. add EQs, change amp settings, or there's a global EQ setting if you just feel yeah, like yeah, you yeah, want yeah. to take the whole thing down. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, let's try drag. the I love JCM. the drag and drop and delete that. Yeah, that's pretty clever, isn't it? So let's try JCM 800. 800, 100 watt, bosh. Now they've dialed this in with a lot less gain than the Fender yeah. one did, didn't Yeah, let's they? get some so gain on it some then, gain please. on here, do yeah. we? Okie cokey. Take some of the reverb down as well. I think we got what? a bit too much reverb, but that's you, man. It's not there. As in, you want more low end, or you're just, yes, you just but like I can't, the low end? No, I can't remember if that's a Marshall who does that because we play. <laughs> Yeah. 
this sounds great, man. You I know, think it sounds like, great. It sounds, sounds yeah. Good. I mean, I think all of these sound great. That's, that's what the crazy yeah. thing is nowadays. It's just yeah, it's a like a new like, interface thing. Isn't yeah, it? which what, what yeah. one can you afford? Yeah. Which one's got the features yeah. you want? You know, it's like cars, kind of isn't it? I don't like this car. I don't like that uh, car. It's like maybe it's because you can't afford it. Right, we're like going me. AC30 now. AC30 high boost. Uh, I would be Porsche 9, oh, pedal 911, off. man. Turbo S, that's what I would have if I could afford it. What is this? Uh, AC30. <laughs> It's, it's in the ballpark, but it yeah. maybe hasn't quite captured the essence, maybe, that, that it did on the, on the Tone Master. Yeah. Uh, bit of Tube Screamer, maybe? But is it, that's what we heard before. Tube Screamer doesn't go as well with a... With a no, who does I, that? Now it sounds great because... I was it, about to say, I think it, wrong. It, it's sort of captured that boxy bottom end of an AC30 quite, yeah. quite well, I think. But again... A Tube Screamer doesn't sound good into an AC30. <laughs> This sounds okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm just in this guitar is just brilliant. I love it. <laughs> so we've got uh, some higher gain stuff coming now. We're going yes. to use the 5150. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, we know how, how that was quite um, dark on the Fender, right? Had this kind of yeah. dark. So again, there was the, you've got the same idea on here, these PV51. So clean crunch and yeah, lead whatever will you be think. the same as the green, blue, red kind yeah. of thing. So let's. <laughs> Of the I other one, I it? Yeah, I don't like the red channel on either of them, to be honest with you. I, I feel like the, the in between, what color is the in between one? Is that blue? The blue channel, I think, is yeah. the. Anyway, that's. <laughs> Last one? Yeah. Um, I, I should say as well, at this stage uh, of the Fender Tone Master Pro kind of development, there's way more amp models in the head rush than there is yeah, in, yeah, the, yeah. in the Tone Master Pro. So, right. But how many do you need, man? Tread you know. plate modern. Oh, there we are. Bosh. <laughs> Sounds good. There we are. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably the end of the uh, Headrush Prime demo. Again, as I mentioned before, if you're looking at this going, well, I like this, but do they do something slightly smaller um, and a bit more affordable? Then yes, they do. Mm. And actually, by the time you're two, 
uh, the Headrush Core, you are less than half the price of the Fender. Are you? So, well, so Autobot know, roll out. Yeah, just saying <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's some good value. That's here. a good value. Anyway, absolutely. Next. Okay. So, number three is the Neural Quad Cortex. Uh, as far as Anderson's is concerned, it's, it's been far and away the biggest selling uh, device in mm -hmm. the last couple of years. Yep. Um, Very popular. So, Quad Cortex, a little bit like the um, Prime, uh, has models in it as well as. Uh, captures, mm -hmm. they call it captures. Um, we're actually going to be able to probably demo uh, on the first deluxe a 65 patch, kind of like how a model sounds compared to a capture. Uh, the capture we're using is um, from a company called Tone Junkie that are fairly well known for, for doing um, patches that you can buy or download yeah. from any of these things. Um, other than that, though, we've kept it to the same format. So we've got a little bit of plate reverb uh, at the end and we've got um, some boost and uh, tube screamer type pedals that we can plug in. Uh, as you can see, it's by far the smallest footprint. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's like a third of the size of the <laughs> Headrush Prime. Yeah. Uh, but like the Fender, it doesn't have an expression pedal. So again, they've done another collaboration with Mission where you can buy like a, a specially um, calibrated yeah. pedals you for can use anything. Uh, cural, uh, neural I, stuff. I use the bus ones for this one. And the cool thing about this is it fits on a pedal train, Yeah. Uh, the 24, whatever it is. Yeah. Just about, you know. Uh, more right, not so good. Yeah, right now, uh, again, it's the only product that Neural make in this kind of hardware space. Uh, they have just released um, the editor for it now, the, the um, computer editor for it. Uh, and they are, they've still yet to get this whole feature over the line of being able to run your neural uh, plugins on it. But I believe they've just announced that there's the, the Pliny one, I think is gonna be the first one that will run okay. on it coming soon. <laughs> Like as Pete said, again, you'll see the ins and outs. Actually, probably the most uh, least featured in terms of ins and outs. And also, it is mm. the only one that uses a wall wart, which some people hate. <laughs> yeah, it's not the pro well, you can get um, the, the power supply underneath the pedal board. And it is touchscreen, um, and it also uses the uh, dual switches that act as knobs as well as. Yeah. But it's not, it's the first one that, as you can see now, that doesn't use graphical, like highly graphical representations of what the different amps and pedals are. It looks a bit more like this he helix. helix. But, but you can see the evolution. When, when we get to the Kemper, you'll see Kemper do it really old school. Helix and Neural <laughs> are kind of similar with the icons and yeah. then Headrush and Fender yeah. are kind of on the next I mean, Kemper's uh, pigeons and uh, <laughs> this like, what is it, like smoke um, signals. Anyway, right, so here we have our first, um, um, we're using a model rather than a capture now of a, mm -hmm. a 65 Deluxe Reverb yeah. with some reverb. I really like the way it sounds, man. Yeah. And it feels just great, and it sounds great. Very, very clean. You can yeah. see this been set with the volume just on two for this amplifier. So imagine having a, a Fender Deluxe with the, the gain sort of all the way, almost down, yeah. give you maximum kind of headroom. Um, I There's guess something before, about the finished uh, air. That let's, the just, <laughs> let's just put the, I thought this had a lot, this exotic Z boost sounds great on here. So let's pop that on. <laughs> It sounds great, man. Do you know, it really sounds And it, again, amazingly, um, you can capture pedals as well as amps. So you could have modeled amps. I think we've got the Dane in here. Captured we captured pedals the Dane and in there as well, Captured yeah. amps with modeled pedals or whatever you want yeah. to do. Here's the Tube Screamer into that amplifier. <laughs>
does sound good. Now, so here's interesting. <laughs> it does sound good. This, uh, you may not be able to see it now, but I've got another amp uh, block got loaded in here. And then we can have a mistake. Um, and this is the Tone Junkie capture of mm -hmm. a, a deluxe uh, Fender Deluxe amplifier. So if I switch off the amp and cab models and switch on the capture, Turn it up a little bit. Of course you can. On here, so I, I think this is ultimately where that whole argument of sounds is good <laughs> modeling or capturing best. Yeah. Neural will just go. It doesn't have matter. Both. Have both. Yeah, yeah. So I, I get that. You know, as will um, Prime as well. But it's it's an interesting. It positions, I still think it positions the, the quad cortex in quite a powerful place. It does. Because it's like, it doesn't really matter who's going to win that argument. They'll, they'll always go do, yeah. have both. And you know um, what the cool thing is about the, the having both is mm. that you can, have the, you can have a model of a head or cap, you know, a cap and a head together. You can have this and that together. Mm. You can mix and match, which you can't do if it's just yeah. capture like Ken, but you know, you, it has to be that thing. So, Interestingly, I mean, really here's, good. here's a good shout though. We, we talked about, we talked about, um, when you're changing EQs on a capture. Of course, if I adjust this gain bass middle treble, this is not now capturing what that amp would sound like with those positions. This is overlaying an EQ mm -hmm. onto that sound. So that's yeah. why you'll, I think typically the idea mm -hmm. with captures is to find the sound that you really like and then don't change it. Yeah, but, but that sounds good. And I'll oh, just put one, yeah. the other ones back on. That's there's, an old amp that's been, it, there's there. not a lot in it, man, um, you know. Let's see I, what, it uh, sounds great. It does anyway, sound great. Right, so we're going to go now. That was the, by the way, I'm not going to do a, a capture versus a model on every one. I'm going to stick with actually just models for now. Are you want to see Yeah, what? let's just try that. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I like the capture better with the yeah. overdrive. I was going to say I think the capture sounds bigger, bit better, more realistic. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I don't know if that's just again psychosomatic. But, but whatever. This sounds good. Uh, it does sound really good. Yeah. Okay. It so, always sounds great. Um, let's change the amplifier to the next one. Uh, one of the things that um, you do have to do on the quad cortex, it, and I did double check this with Digital John, who's a bit of a quad cortex encyclopedia. It doesn't appear <laughs> that uh, you can simultaneously change the amp and the speaker cabinet. You've got to do the yeah. two, you've got to do them as two separate things. So, okay, here is our basement with matching four by 10 cabinet. <laughs> See, that sounds much more like the Fender yes. one, where it's much more broken. Much more <laughs> raspy. Much more raspy. Is there a noise gate on here? I don't think there is. I don't, no, there's no noise gate. Well, I haven't got a block assigned no. to be noise well, gate. It might be so on the it's up, but it's not, though. It's not, though. I don't know. Is it on the in? No. 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 Okay. Well, anyway. uh, do you want to hear that with a bit of overdrive? <laughs> yes, let's have it. The exotic Whichever or the... Whichever one, man. I'm going to do the Tube Screamer. Yeah. <laughs> It 
just never sounds good, that, does it? You know what? It, I think that's it. Basement and AC30 rely on volume. Volume and, yeah, sheer volume and, yeah. a, and a guitar that just goes, shut up, shut, 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 shut up, <laughs> into the thing, you know? It just needs to be loud. Uh, right. Flip flops. Uh, Marshall Plexi coming up. This is the neural model of a 100 watt Plexi with the high and the normal channels jumped basically so it's i mean i think it sounds great but it, and with a, a 4x12 cream uh, cream back loaded cream cabinet back. Again, I think it's unwinning. If we wanted to, um, I, do, I do think, again, although the switches can be the knobs, it's not, you have to get slightly used to it. It's, it's the order of the, the, the switches yeah. won't be directly underneath what you want. So like the first square up, right? top left will be the first switch and you can kind of have to go along like that. So you can work it out, but. Yes, you can. Um, I think it's just getting used to any of these things yeah. and getting used to it, spend a bit of time with it, yeah. you know. But I do, I do really like, the switch, the you know, the fact the switches it's can be clever. knobs as well. It's What's clever. it like with a bit less gain on there? A bit less gain. And I'm rolling it off now. Okay. favorite guitar amp sounds is just old Jason marshalls yeah. on the edge of yeah. breakup yep. let's just chuck a tube screamer in front of it because let's of course that's what chuck people it. do I mean, sound really realistic. It does. I mean, that and the um, Fender now is my two favourite ones in this. Uh. Okay, <laughs> we are going now to a JCM 800. Mm -hmm. So this is a JCM 800 uh -huh. with a V30 loaded 412. Can I have a bit more volume and a bit more... This sounds great. It sounds good. <laughs> I should just quickly say, anybody thinking, where's Tonex within the mix? Um, we left Tonex out just purely and simply because it didn't feel like it fitted into the price bracket of these things and maybe the full functionality with all the other effects and On stuff. On the pedal, there's too uh, much. But know. absolutely, if you, you we did a, a separate shootout um, of the Tonex, which is a little um, IK multimedia yeah, yeah. thing that that is just designed to do the amp capture yeah. bit of it. It's very good. It's it's very affordable, but it's it's um, you'd have to go and watch a different video for this. I think um, then what they need to make is a board with the pedals on it and with the display in it and with everything in it and the ins and outs. Like yeah, you they should to. do like a version a, a of pro, this. A more yeah. pro yeah, version. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You know, not, okay, not here's pro, the uh, tube screamer over the top of the JCM eight hundred. <laughs> That 
such a sound of the 80s. Yeah, yeah, I am yeah, liking yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, AC30 mm -hmm. top boost here into, obviously it's a matching 212 cabinet. I still, I've got to say, Neural, if you're watching, I, I would love for there to be an update that loads in the correct cab every time I do mm -hmm. it. It's annoying me that I've got to load the cab in separate to the... And I would like time. to have a, <laughs> a, a, not to be able, to have a volume pedal, but overall, so I don't have to add one in every time on every patch. Is that yes. the case, is that there's yeah, no yeah. global settings? It's not like, a, you can't have it like pedal. a global thing. Uh, you what have about to if you just in... used a normal volume nah. pedal into it or well, after no, it? it no, That'd not if work. it's an expression pedal. Yes, but you want to put it in between anyway. Fine. Anyway, you have to load it I in. Think, have okay, it. let's have a listen. Got that honk, doesn't it? That I don't like. It's the best one so far. Is it? But... I don't know if it is. I think the Fender had a good really? one going down. I mean, there's nothing... It's, there's nothing like an AC30 in the room cranked to I get, smithereens. I get that, yeah. But it is like a cardboard box. It doesn't, you know what I mean? When it's like yeah. kicking a cardboard box, it makes yeah. that noise. I think AC30s always sound better in bands than they do in, in isolation. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's like a, yeah. it's a gigging band sound isn't it's it? It's not a oh let me put let me have a yeah. nice tone and play yeah. some nice blues licks. It needs to be go really hot. loud. I've got the boost channel now on the hot. I think they've done a good job on that yeah. one. Uh, here we go with the uh, 5150 uh, blue channel. As you can see from the screen here, you can actually elect to do the 6L6 loaded or the EL34 loaded one. Then we've got two blue and two red channels. So I'm just going to use the 6L6 one. And this is the blue one as well. This is blue. Ooh. So this should be the less gainy of the two. And this is going into a 4x12 uh, G12 loaded EV, which I'm guessing stands for EVH. And if it doesn't, I apologize. Or EV speakers, who knows? So that's clean. The, I'm blue, cha the blue channel is the rhythm channel, it's yeah. not the clean There's the background noise, so we don't have a noise gate in. I suspect yeah. these are the types of amp patches where you might want a noise gate on. Well, well Eddie uh, didn't have that, did he? He, just, he didn't have that. The no, noise, I agree. man. That's what makes it magic. Uh, make so it magic. The last one we're going to find now is the boogie dual rectifier. Right, some sounds. Boogie rectifier. <laughs> The 
Fender's got that beat on his one. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's I... so similar, but... There is something in the water up there where they make these sounds. I must yeah, admit. I'm, I'm also in just going to say, I, I, I'm, I believe the CA Duo Channel 3 Modern is the dual rectifier <laughs> model, yeah. but uh, maybe it isn't. Um, and of course, you know, there, there, there will be thousands of captures yeah, yeah. Uh, online of dual rectifiers. Which is, by the way, super duper easy. I'm not yeah. recording the screen right now. Don't but, forget, but so John Petrucci, who's obviously a massive boogie user, also has his own neural uh, plugin. And there's loads and loads of his uh, Petrucci uh, amplifier officially yeah. modeled in here as well. And it's super easy. You log on to this little app they've got um, where you can share, you can follow people like on Instagram, which I think is really cool. And, you know, go into a thing. Here's a Buckner. I click the Buckner. I can download the Buckner and the Buckner will go into that because I'm linked up with that and linked up to this and it'll automatically show up in here. Yeah, so cool. That's super cool. Good. Right, right then let's move uh, on. Let's move on. Here okay, penultimate then. one. This is Oof. the Helix. Came out in 2015. I thought it was older than that. Maybe Google's wrong. I did just Google that. But I don't it does, think it is, um, uh, Yeah, so, so this is this. Helix, this is this. Helix has a huge family of, of Helix products. So this is still mm -hmm. the biggest and most expensive one, but there's rack versions. There's... Uh, the LT version of this, which is a bit Stump. smaller, you've got, yeah, you've got really, really cut down with hardly any pedals on it. Yeah. But anyway, loads of stuff, Felix. <laughs> it's just modeling. Um, the latest update, I think 3.6 came out earlier this year. They sort of claimed was a big advancement in how all the models sounded. So let's find out. Let's this find out. is the US, uh, the Fender uh, Deluxe, 65 Deluxe. Okay. A bit more reverb on this one, please. You can indeed have a bit more reverb. You know what, I'm reverb. just gonna say, I think it's a good looking unit still after all this time, and it's metal, it's a proper thing, I... you know. Yes, I mean, I'm finding this, I am regularly trying to press things on the screen and. F Do you and want me to tell you why? <laughs> well, it's because I'm just so used to using touch screen exactly. now, it's kind of. But yeah. there we are, there's a bit more reverb for you. And again, yeah, we're nice. using a plate reverb, we're not using yeah. a spring. It's, for me, it's, it's the most uh, two-dimensional one yeah. that yeah, we've yeah, tried yeah. so far. Yeah. Two-dimensional meaning not as good as three It doesn't sound bad, but it's no. just got a different uh, vibe to it. You know? I'm going to... Oh, what have Yeah, I see, if you hold it down, that's the thing, ah. isn't it? So you, you want to click it. That was right. This was one of the things can... that... I had a, I like I had a smaller Helix at home Stump. for a while. It's the, and it's the, it's it just... kept freaking me out that if you touched things, it would do stuff which was sort of interesting. But yeah. then that... What's you it, can say, swap two So you touch thing here, and then I go I go to press the... But then realize, oh, it's not touch screen. I've got to do the thing underneath it. Anyway. Right, let's put a kinky boost on. It's not much kinky about that boost. Tune okay. screamer. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Two dynamics, it's not as warm. I think know. it's what it is. I think it sounds it sounds like a sort of a, a flat, clean sound to me, rather than yeah. you know, you know when you play a, a Fender Deluxe, you know, it's like it's it is rich and full of goodness. Juice. Uh anywho, let's I don't mind see. it though, it sounds good. Now, if I remember rightly, so I'm using this kind of cursor stroke um knob here to go through my chain of fangs. And I think if I click it here, yes, yeah. I'm now into all the other things that there are here. So I, what I've got to do now is find US double, I think, is twin. So where might we find a baseman? Right, this one here is the Tweed Blues Normal. Uh, mm -hmm. I, do you know what? I can find out now. If I go across here, yeah, yeah so that's the 4x10 yeah. P10R. Perfect. Yeah. 
you can kind of see, so along the bottom here are where the settings are. It's very straightforward to change them using these. And again, if I go across using the page left mm. and right, you'll see uh, all the other parameters for this. Uh, Unless you rig. think, of course, it's a touch screen, in which case it's not as easy to change. <laughs> oh, hang on, we've still got the screamer on. Let's turn right. the screamer off. Okay. I mean, it's, this is a difficult amp as well because they're always not great like this. You know, they have to be loud in your face. I think um, the Bassman and, and the AC30 are those two hard to capture because absolutely. it's so, it's such an essence of driven valve, isn't yeah. it? It's, yeah, um, yeah. and it is raspy and nasty sometimes, but I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, I sort of feel, I know there's a, there's a mass of really happy Helix users. Yeah, but the, the, you know, we were talking to Jack the other day, the tour that he's on at the moment, the MD has just insisted that guitar player is using Helix. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is. I, I, it was obviously incredibly impressive when this came out in 2015. It kind of feels like uh, the, the guys that, um, all the guys that I know with Helix that still feel it's a really usable bit of kit will all say how much they feel like they get in and they tweak it and they get them just to, to nail down the patches exactly. I can't remember this. You can load in your own IRs, can't you? So it, Yeah, yeah, all that you know, stuff. So obviously, yeah. again, maybe there's some element of, of improvement from there's doing that. There's a software that. you can noodle all along. Can I just go back to that? Just we should rewind to that going, the MD insisted on somebody mm. using... No, 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 no. Well, I mean, that's... Well, that's the gig. I know now, that's the it? gig, but it would. I mean, if that was me, I would go. Well, now I'm using this as my gear. Yeah. But I don't know what's happening to the world. <laughs> it's happening to the world, Lee. What's I'm, happening? I'm guessing it's just you know, live music is all about in out, make as much money as you possibly can. And if well, why are they not says, even just why are they just using backing track then? <laughs> well, why well, want musicians on it? Yeah, yeah maybe but that's what happened to real thing. musicians <laughs> oh, and musicianships? Dear. Okay, and on that note, let's see if we can find the <laughs> next amplifier in here, which is the uh, Plexi. Uh, here we Don't go. Call me. What is the cab they've elected to use with this? A 4x12 uh, 25 okay, watt yeah. greenback. Well, there you Great go. cabs. Let's see what this sounds like. There's something missing. It's a distortion. It's sort of digitally. That no one else would hear, you know. It I, sounds good, but it's not. I think that it's, it's again, that's it's my favorite one of what the Helix has done so yeah. far. Let's try to I'm not saying it sounds it. bad, I'm just mm. saying there's something. Yeah, it sounds okay, but it's still, yeah. I mean, I know why they want these, because they can turn them out, off out the front. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's try now uh, JCM <laughs> 800. Well, here we go. So here's some more gain. V30 cap. If I 
heard that coming out of front of house at the beginning of a gig for a bit of a rock band, yeah. that'd be fine. Yeah, and you wouldn't, like, you wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't be have sitting there going, no, it doesn't quite a little bit. The top end is a little bit of a rock think the, because it's a digitally. I think the difference though, if I had to, if I was buying one nowadays, I still not sure. It's yeah, a little maybe, bit maybe if some, maybe if I found a second hand one of these and they were affordable or whatever yeah. like that, maybe. But I don't know that. I don't know. It's it, the, you, this is probably the most durable of all of them. Well, I suppose yeah. I mean, if you're looking for a reliability track record, it's insanely high yeah. on the on the Helix. So, uh, and it's probably the kind of thing that wherever you are in the world, you're going to find a, a Line Six distributor. I would have thought. Well, yeah. I suppose you could argue that Fender well, Kemper's will be the same, and everybody's more. got Kemper's. And yeah, you can not too sure. Yeah, Kemper, it's still a lot. That's you know, it's it's easy to find if you can deal with Kemper in Germany. I'm not sure, but you might. Oh, they've right. got them everywhere. Renting, whatever, whatever, whatever. So That's not what we're here screamer to talk about. over the top of it. <laughs> I'm just going to. It's fine, gonna, man. It's, yeah, I think I just, every single one is going to make. It's fine. It's fine. You know? I've used the uh, stump, so the HX stump. Yeah. I've used that quite a lot recently, just plugging straight in and getting some really good sounds for guitar recording. Yeah. On the stuff I've done. Sound really good, you know. And you've got all of these different things, and you've got the effects, and you've got all that stuff, which makes it really user friendly. Here we go. AC30. Yeah. <laughs> I think it sounds just as good as the other ones, you know what I mean? When I say good, they, none of them sound super good. I wonder, I wonder with an AC30 if the only way to do it is to just find like a Michael Britt or someone like that killer capture of an AC30. Or even then, if you just wouldn't... Well, we'll find out soon. Would it next one. have the... Well, that's yeah. true. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go. It's like, it sounds okay. It sounds okay. It sounds, it sounds fine. It's, but it's, it's, not, it's <laughs> not, you know, but... Anyway, you guys are listening, so you choose. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to listening back 50. to it and see what happens yes, here. Because it... Um, not that I will, though, because I never watch the videos back. <laughs> it doesn't look like on the EV we've got any direct 5150 um, presets. It does look like they're available to buy if you want yeah. to start downloading stuff. So we've chosen PV Panama uh, as probably the... Uh, well, it's got to be the PV5150, yeah. isn't it? What else would it be? It's that kind of sound, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, a I need to play bit. more with high gain. I like it. I'm just. You know what? You know how you describe when we play more affordable acoustics versus expensive mm -hmm. acoustics, and you just kind of go. Yeah, yeah. It's, exactly. It's like it's yeah. a good sound, but it's like it's this much, and then yeah. you hear a different. Yeah, yeah. It's, this is just what it feels like. I mean, I'm sure that's just. But it's how 2015, man. So much has happened. But you know what's even cooler about that? You get an old lamp from 1968. It's going to sound even better. <laughs> and it's not. Nothing's happened. Well, that's that's always, I suppose, <laughs> that kind of analog. Um, that analog valve. That's where you get all of that like, stuff. But, and also, it's like, it, you know, it's like you're, not trying to, on film. you're not trying to digitally re recreate anything. It just yeah. is what but it is. But it's like filming on Come proper on. Panama uh, television. Pali rectifier uh, is the rectifier. boogie uh, dual rectifier. Okay. What is the cab that's used? Uh, yeah. But. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's fine. We're going to move on now to the, uh, the the final one, almost like the daddy of this whole category <laughs> da -da -da. here. Um, da -da. I just, I think this is a great example of just what technology does, which is in 2015, everyone goes, oh my God, it's crazy, ever yeah, yeah. dead. And then eight years later, you're going, yeah, yeah. isn't that good, does it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I sort of, it's incremental, it's, isn't it? Like yeah, that. so I wonder if we'll just be saying the same thing about all yeah. the stuff like today. We go, oh my God, it's amazing. In another eight years' time, it's like, meh. And here's the what you could do, instead of just buying one of those, you can just, every time you go, oh, you could just buy the Yamp that, that you really <laughs> want in there, and then the 50 on 50, and then you buy the Fender Ram, and then, uh, you know. Oh, look, man, oh, I, get still how, I, I get how convenient and practical it is. everything It's are. brilliant. For totally, light totally touring and that. whatever, it's absolutely but, uh, brilliant. There we are. So that was yeah. the uh, Line 6 Helix. But don't do it for the sound guy. Do it for yourself. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, that took a little okay. while, didn't it? Uh, the last one is the Kemper. Uh, obviously, this is also available in a couple of different formats. You might remember the toaster, mm -hmm. still a thing, does a rack mount version. This is the stage. They're all basically the same unit in different formats. Yep. These guys invented profiling. In fact, Christoph Kemper, what a clever man. Actually, the, the technology to do profiling was from the keyboard brand yeah, yeah, that yeah. he had before even the, the guitar uh, brand, yeah. which is amazing. Um, this, is, uh, this is incredible for a piece of technology. It must be 12, 13 years old now, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, course, maybe. And apart from lots of uh, firmware updates, if, even if you had an original Kemper, you could still just update it to the latest firmware and it would do everything. Yeah. Not like Apple. It's, I think we're going to go through some very, very quickly, some real pros and real cons with this. There is a genius line from Christoph Kemper that he said to me once about people who say, oh, I don't like the sound of your Kemper or whatever like that. He said, there's no such thing as a bad Kemper sound. There's only a bad profile. And that's kind of true because this unit is utterly reliant on profiles. Yeah. There's no modeling in here whatsoever. So unless you have some profiles of guitar amplifiers, there are no sounds in yeah. here. Um, so if you get a bad one, it's going to sound bad. If yeah. you get a good one, it's going to sound amazing. Pete and I decided what we would do with this unit was completely factory reset it with this idea that we would go through some presets. What we didn't realize is that by factory resetting it, you delete <laughs> All the pro all the models, all the profiles, sorry, they're inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is fine. So you get your laptop out, you go, right, let's load in some new ones. Yeah. And you then go through this soul-destroying two hours. Yeah. I mean, I've got a lot. I mean, yeah. I've probably got more than, than, than any other people. There have, you know. are thousands and thousands. Tens of thousands. And thousands yeah. of free downloadable profiles with no way of knowing which ones sound good or not, other than you have to go having to, to listen to them. Can I, can, can I say, it's like, it's like going on Spotify, searching for a song, I want to listen to, to Pink Floyd, blah, 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 and then you just get 500 versions right. of somebody done like a demo <laughs> of something, and you just go, that just sounds really um, bad. We, I suppose we could have elected to go to some of the stores that sell their profiles yeah. rather than just looking through all the free like ones. Like a um, But anyway, so Tom it junkie. honestly probably took us over an hour to try and just find six or seven presets that we liked. Yeah. And then even then, we did give up just yeah, going through. Like, oh, it's too that. much. So At the end, it was, you know... It, so I guess it's like it's a good thing that there's millions or thousands of yeah. free ones for you to find. And it's also like if you just can't be bothered, then I can imagine maybe this isn't the unit for you. It, it's pretty reliant, I think. I mean, it looks like there's lots of knobs and buttons on here. But my gut feeling is, is what you really want to do is just find 
profiles that are the sound that you want yeah. rather than feeling like you want to start editing. Like I, like I mentioned to you, I think the, 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 the people who use this, a lot of the people who use this will have a tech. Mm. And they're like, like uh, Mark Knopfler changed recently mm. to Kemper. And you go, I want my amp to, st- I want that sound. Mm. So the tech goes, and I want that on one. Then I want my clon yeah. onto my amp. I want that on two. And then I want, you know, and that's how it works. And yeah. I bet you Mark Knopfler has got no idea how, how this works. But Probably. his tech does, and he goes, one, two, three, four, yeah. that's all you need to do. It, it absolutely it it feels like menu-driven tech from 15 years ago, Unless which is you my only... App. Even you then. Use, no, because the app is like the same. It's the, the same as the new... We'll put, not, we'll put a we'll put a, a, a picture of what yeah. the app looks like. I do okay. The yeah. app was and easier. The, yeah. Um, anyway, really let's just get into hearing these because I the, and it's a touch I, As much as I've sort of moaned so far, when you find a good profile, yeah. <laughs> it sounds as good as any of the other ones do. Yeah. You know, it sounds bloody great, and it feels like yeah. the th- real thing. And you think these little profiles mm. are like sixteen k little mm. like tiny little yeah. files. It's amazing. Uh, but anyway, so we found from the zillion that there are, that we found some <laughs> that we liked. So here is our 65 Deluxe from a, a guy called RC Kincaid. We put a little bit of a different reverb on it. Yeah, we changed bit. the spring reverb yeah. to the plate, you're right. <laughs> I still think that sounds fantastic. It does sound great. I mean, great. it sounds incredible. Yeah. It, it, and it feels incredible. I, I feel like <laughs> I'm going to have to leave this up to you now to comment below because the last, uh, it's taken us so long to try and... We've been all day that, on this. ...that I've sort of forgotten <laughs> what the other ones sound like. I, I vaguely recollect feeling like the, the, the Fender and the Quad Cortex had similar. Yeah, they've got similar, sounding, yeah. But I may have forgotten. Uh, anyway, I'd love well, I'd love to hear your comments at the end of this because your ears are fresh and you've heard this. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the deluxe. I've just literally assigned a, a mid-gain uh, 808 style tube screamer to this A button here. I could, if I had any idea how this worked, assign <laughs> that to one of these four here. But That's um, why I use the app. I'm it's really just, easy to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to literally turn it on and off from here. Uh, you know what? I think, I think the Kemp has come in for all sorts of criticism over yeah. the last 12, 13 years, just as different manufacturers update it. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's no screen and the, touch screen. The, yeah. All the of that basic, stuff. basic tone of it is superb. It's king, man. Um, it sounds so well, I don't good. know if it's the best, but it's, it's right up there. I don't, I think that's, Christoph was right. Yeah. Once you find a great sounding yeah. profile, yeah. it's just a great sounding profile. Yeah. But that's um, what it is, you know. Anyway, where, uh, yeah. Let's go They're back all great. to our next amplifier, which is, what have we been doing this in order of? A basement next. So that's got to be this BL basement, right? <laughs> Yeah. So this was uh, author B. Little and is a, um, a, 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 a 1959 basement, basically. It's got that brokenness now, on it. Again, you've got to get into this concept of a profile. This is a snapshot of how all the settings were on the amplifier. It's not yeah. really designed now for me to start going in and uh, changing that. Although I can. Look, you see, I can, I can reduce the gain. And you can do the bit of yeah, bass melody and treble. treble. Yeah. See, so put a bit more bass on it so it gets that fluffy. <laughs> I 
I do, I think there's a lot to be said for um, profiles and captures. Yeah. I think if somebody really knows what they're doing yeah. and you are just looking for a, a certain sound at a point in time with a certain set of settings, I, I, I can see why the, you know, Quad Cortex and the, and the Kemper have, have been so popular yeah. over time. And that's do. what it is. You have your gear, mm. but you don't want to take the gear out of your front yeah. high sky goes yeah. and wants it easy, so you profile your yeah. amp. And I'm guessing that's where Tonex as well kind yeah. of has been popular because yeah. it's, a, it's an affordable way of kind exactly. of doing this. Exactly. Anyway, uh, that did sound great. Let's try and find our <laughs> It's more like a JCM 45, that wasn't it? Plexi. Yeah. Here we go, Plexi. <laughs> In fairness, we haven't been changing the reverbs to be the plate reverb on each okay. of these. They're just whatever they are. Again, they're whatever they are Natural on reverb. the profile yeah, that we've Yeah, that's what it in. is, isn't it? You know, you can change um, it as you go. Let's, that's what it takes so long with this yeah, thing. You need I, somebody to do it for really, you, right? I, I can't decide. Yeah. I can't decide if that would wear me down. I know when I've used two notes... Yeah. IR loaders, yeah. and and it's like, and like oh hey, uh, the guys from Two Notes have been loved. They're like, oh, we've unlocked the, your license, yeah. so you can just download <laughs> yeah. whatever you want. No, no, you, you're, you're literally just like, oh my god, there's like thirty thousand yeah, different yeah. IRs I can, and then you end up going, I can't be bothered to look. Through I think them. the the you know when they I saw Neuro was doing this on the uh, Instagram. Here's a the Neuro tones in sixty seconds, and people go click 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 click, and here's my tone. They forget it with this one. Uh, here we go. Here again, no pedals. Uh, just in fact, what is this pedal? We'll take this one off here. So we. We've got some reverb again on a JCM 800. I forgot to mention wow. actually when we were talking about the types of uh, Kempers you can buy, the, the rack mount and the toaster style ones are available with amps built in as well. So mm -hmm. if you physically just want to run them straight into a cab, uh, yeah. this, this the stage, like everything else with them, is uh, not powered. So you'd have to run into a powered cab. If but you they do to. make a powered cab and they make oh, normal true. cabs. So they make cabs for the powered ones so they make the little powered cabs, yeah. which I've got one off and it's mm. excellent. In fairness, there's, there's, there's quite a selection of, of Powered FR. Oh, yeah, yeah. Laney does it? some and anyway, far, 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 uh, far. Right. Uh, Fender does one AC30, well. this is um, a top boost. Anyway, you can hit. Lots that, of reverb I, I on there. Hold that down. Yeah, I will change. That's kicking the card box, man. Kick hidden card box. Do you know what we, I'm saying we, with that? We mm. sort of intentionally yeah. went for a lower gain AC30, yeah. didn't it's we? We just gained it up a little bit. Thing sounds great. You said, yeah, okay. So we got two 5150 profiles in mm -hmm. from the legend that is Michael Britt. Yeah. Um, again, 
We've lo we've only used free pre yeah. pre-files profiles, profiles here. Obviously, there's loads of people like Michael who um, uh, sell profiles from this store. Anyway, here oh, is a, a mid gain. Let's turn. <laughs> This is funny because this one sounds much more like the Fender did at the beginning. You know, when you yeah. first initially go, oh, this seems a bit muffled. Yeah. But the Fender did that, and that's officially licensed and approved by again the you, you family. Can't, all you can say about everything on the Kemper, as we said a minute ago, with Christoph says, there's only good profiles and yeah. bad profiles. There's or right, no, the right. I mean, this could yeah. be how it sounds. We, we don't know. Well, don't forget, a profile is always. Assuming you profile it with the cab, which you don't have to, but it's always, it's the cab, it's the amp, it's the cab, yeah. it's the way you've mic'd it, yeah. the choice of mics, and, and what's you run how through. you've set the desk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you know, lots of ways that you can change the profile. Oh, you could amplifier. run it straight in as well, actually. Put the delay back on. That's the sound, isn't it? Sound. It's it's a, that's that that sort of. It's a great wow. sound. It's a great sound. And then lastly, uh, we've got the dual rectifier, haven't we? Oh, it's yes. from an author called Amporium. I think that sounds great, man. But it, it, that's the end. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I say the end. I imagine now, if you still want to carry on watching, there'll be <laughs> some sense of just short clips of just no talking guitar playing of each one. Conclusion for me is there isn't a there isn't a bad one. I probably was most or least impressed with Helix. Yeah, that needs an update. Now, I, I think it? Helix feels like it's just you got to somehow really open that up. Either either with a completely new version or some. I've heard what people do with that is that they'll go to the end of it and then they'll put like an overall EQ at the end right. and then like an 1176 at the end right. to kind Just of to bring up the right. sound a bit and yeah. maybe you get what this is. But you know. And, and again, I've got to. Yeah, you have keep to saying, dive there, into there that. have been tons of bands from like 50s rock and roll things through to modern yeah. you know hyper metal kind of stuff that have gone and toured with yeah. helix for the last uh, seven eight years yeah. and and so it does sound fine but i don't know i mean my i i have to say you know the kemp has got some killer sounds in it but i think i would just find it frustrating to use yeah but you, that's what i'm telling you 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 don't you have, you've got people to do it for you <laughs> Well, you know, that's the thing. Pro, yeah. I, here, here's my amps. Um, Profile my amps for me mm, and put it in there. Yeah. That's what I want. You I know? still like, you know, I'm going to sound like a sucker here because I still actually like all the stuff that's on Headrush and how easy it is to use. Yeah. But if I... The sounds are not as good no, as the other ones. Neu where, where, do you think defend, where do you think... Because uh, neural, neural for me is still... You've got, you've got the best yeah. of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. You can have models, yeah. you can have uh, profiles and it's fairly easy to use. Yeah. Where do you think the Fender sits? 
I mean, it's it's. I don't know where it sits actually. That's what I was when it came mm. out. I was like, whoa, hang on, it sounds great, you know, and it's easy to mm. use. It's very intuitive and it sounds great, but you get the Fender sounds, which is so mm. difficult to find. You know, the Fender reverbs, the Fender amps, which even when you do the Mustang videos, mm. they the Fender sounds. It's mm. always the best Fender sounds you get. You I, know? Th I think that's where I think the Fender will. It'll take over from the Helix. No, I think I think what will happen is you'll actually get quite a lot of uh, guitar players who've looked at these kind of things over the last 10 years and yeah. gone, oh, I quite like the whole concept of it, yeah. but they go, oh, it's, it's too fiddly. It's too fiddly. Yeah, yeah, I want and some I think, pictures. I think the Fender will end up, go, that'll be so easy to use yeah. and you'll get the comfort factor of it saying Fender yeah, and yeah, feeling yeah. like, you know, so they've yeah. obviously put a lot of money into it. Yeah. So I kind of, but I, I still... If the Neural was in a bigger box with a with a yes. ICE cable and a little bit mm. more rocket, the, the the you know the foot switches yeah. would be a little bit more spread out. I would go the Neural any day, mm. you know, because it's it's got the profiles and you can do your mm. captures on it. But if I'm just touring somewhere and somebody goes blah blah blah, I'll just go use the camber, profile these two amps that I need, and that's all I want. Mm. I want nothing else in there. I you got to say though the the speed of which. You know, in, in the last 10 years, you've gone from really plugging into some of those old, I'm trying to think, old like Digitech and ART, maybe it's more than 10 years yeah, but ago. The but like, you know, like red, really yeah, bad sounding pods. stuff to now sort of yeah. going, holy moly, man, yeah. it's just... And it's coming so quickly, isn't it? Okay, well done for getting to the end of this video. Uh, links to find out latest prices and stock availability on all these things will be below. Um, I'm going for a lie down. Yeah, man. And I'm going to come uh, we with shall you, see you in another video soon. Au revoir. Goodbye.